foreign Chinese products. During the first six months of 2018, the International Monetary Fund released its Regional Economic Outlook report on Sub-Saharan Africa with a focus on domestic revenue mobilization and private investment. In Nigeria, Africa's largest economy, the appreciation in crude oil price and capital inflows played a significant role in the reality of this expectation. The first half was also characterized by some external and internal factors, including the hike in rates by the U.S. Fed, leading to a strong dollar and culminating in capital outflows from the domestic market. So we've seen a lot of um, FPIs leaving um, emerging markets, also because of trade war between U.S. and China as well. That also caused a lot of FPIs to, to leave the market. Um, I think another thing that is also causing them to leave is, um, if you look at Italy as well, there seems to be a lot of drama around Eurozone, mm. whether they're going to leave as well. So all those has really formed the narrative that we've seen in the first half of the year. Despite the fact that macroeconomic variables have been attractive, um, attractive GDP figures, um, like you said, there's been disinflation. Yeah. Inflation is currently at 11% coming from about 15 percent beginning of the year. Nigeria had a stable foreign exchange within this period as disinflation also maintains downward momentum on declining food prices. One of the major drawbacks, however, is the delay in 2018 budget passage. With these indicators, the journey to economic recovery has been encouraging. The road ahead is however mixed with electioneering and the likely fallout of imminent global trade wars. Temple Ashaju, Channel Television News.